did she? Four dollars off the... <laughs> One dollar off of beets. Do beets have tannins? What is that? Honey baked jam. <laughs> Call me Grandpa. Grandpa. It's exactly what it's in. Your, your rose water? <laughs> Maybe we can hang out with Neptor. He can rap or something. Hey. B -b -b bread with. Let him rap. Well, Neptor is too distracting. Who wants to play video games? Oh. Oh, sure. Games like Bemo? Let's do that, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa. Hangman. Whoa. That sounds grizz as nuts. Yeah, let's play Hangman. Pick a leather. Show us what you did, Hangman. Pick a leather. <laughs> Omo. Little baby kids still. Even though it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Bimo. I do know that. But I do know that. Special ride has the accumulation of all Mo's. Mm hmm. Lack the imagination to think outside my collective programming. Mm -hmm. I can only see the world as it is. Yeah. Will your imagination, Bimo. Like. Mm. If the two of us work together, we can think of a way out of here. I will do what I can. All right. You see that hatch over there? Side. The vent up there leads to the other side. But it's too high up. Oh. To climb up to the vent. But, but all this trash, trash is too small. small. Uh huh. Whoa. <laughs> it just blew my mind. Whoa. Burgess Meredith? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Boys love games. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Not cool. Come on, fit. Let's get out of here. Love me. Yuck. This room gives me the hibiti. Oh, and I like that contrast. There's like this idea of like growing up and Mo is really grown up. And they kinda like him. Mm. Well, maybe as my birthday present, I can ask Mo to fix the ammo. Today it is not really loud. Our sensors would know. But he's in my house right now with Finn and Jake. He got a new body. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did this new body happen to have jagged prongs and a cannon phaser on top of its head? No. <laughs> was was a cannon phaser a hair? may be in grave danger he must have sabotaged the factory quickly hoist oh. me on top of your have an inside uh, job type of thing you're stronger than you know also i'm lighter than you know <laughs> i'm sorry we didn't find any hangmen no bandit stole my legs <laughs> 
shall avenge your leg. We're sorry we left you. <laughs> you should be. I'm your grandpa. Grandpa. What? I don't know about this, bro. Is this guy's plan to like the, to destroy all machines? Like he doesn't want that anymore. Oh. Okay. So. Trash. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Wake up and love me, imposter. Bimo has returned. Hello, Bimo. I'm your kid sibling. <laughs> and your dirty head. Where are Finn and Jake? I think Finn and Jake went somewhere to buy me a gift. Tell me what you did with Finn and Jake. <laughs> what? Bimo, look at my face. You've gone too far! Woo, 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 woo! Bye. You scared the birthday boy! Mm, too high. Hey! Talk, game all. You want to know where... ...of him. His memory backup drive. Hmm. I was returning from a long pilgrimage. Yes. I came to confront Papa for I had discovered terrible things about myself. <laughs> he was dying. Yeah. I'm all dear child. My body is conking out. <coughs> Take. <sighs> Send my mind into space. So I may spend eons among the stars and other brilliant gas. Okay. So he did pass away. As cold as clay. Our papa never loved me. Mm. So I ignored his last request. Yeah, 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 like, his maybe he did ignore it. Maybe. Destroy them. Is that you? Okay. What you doing? No. Then I learned about you and your new family. I wanted a taste of that. Oh, that's family. okay. That's cool. People in my life don't love me. Mm -hmm. I'll obliterate y'all. You cheat. Give me those memories. That break BMO. Oh. Oh. Bimo, keep going. Oh, nice. You you have the triple um, replay thing, so that's when you know something's epic. Is he dead? Is Amo dead? Bimo. Hey. We caught the tail end of what happened. Okay? <laughs> Get the no. tail end. Bimo, will you live with us back at the factory? With Mo gone, you can be our leader. I don't think I can. I'm not grown up, or I'm um, too. <laughs> Some time alone. Yeah, you just you killed someone. Really nice. Oh my god, Bimo. Right. Sorry, your birthday was weird. <laughs> that was the greatest thing that ever happened. I love the dialogue right now. Look at the scenery. I do feel a bit more grown. Yeah. Except that the mission was just a made up lie. So who knows if I will ever grow up at all? Yeah. Is there anything you want to teach me? It better be in me already. Mm. I guess all I can do is listen to the heart Mo gave me. Yeah. Except when he turned out bad. So what if I turn out bad too? Ah. Uh. 
I love this questioning of identity, the purpose. But no, see, he is thinking outside the program. Yeah. yeah. It's not just Mo up here. It's me too. Exactly. And if I cannot trust in Mo, I can trust in me. Oh boy. It is Bebo for sure. I miss you, Mo. What a day. Yep. Very, very proud of you. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Okay. A little confusing because I thought this was a two-parter, and I think it is to a, a two-parter. But when I saw it, it was just kind of one go. So, a little bit weird, but more manageable than I think the massive eight-part thing. This was a compelling BMO story. It really wasn't just like, oh, the factory's gone bad. It was a message about love, about growth, about adulthood. It was very informative. It was emotional even at some points. But again, just super introspective with BMO's direction in life. As in, does he want to be an adult? Can he be an adult? Will people still love him? And then that is a foil, a, a contrast to Amo, where Amo feels like there's just so many BMOs or so, or so many Mo's out there that they don't feel loved by anyone. And then with that no love, that can make you, you know, kill and kill everyone around you. That could make you uh also like destroy things and it's this kind of toxic neediness um and there's that contrast but then bimo is in a position where he supersedes all the other mo's because he has creativity he he can go outside of the program um so that gives bimo this newfound expressiveness and freedom maybe still not to where they can own an entire factory or a kingdom um but it was an impressive story for bimo a little anticlimactic in a way but i think the themes are magnificent here um and i think two episodes is much more easy to digest right now than a, a part one had i maybe known that before not saying i prefer this over stakes but i like where they really went with bimo and it seems like this story is closed off and I'm really happy for him and just how deep the episode actually went. I didn't expect it to go in this like, existential sort of uh, purpose, direction, needing love kind of thing. So that was a great special or a great two-part, great arc, whatever you're calling it. That's going to be it for me. Do I see you next one? <laughs>